So I've been asked a couple more times about a teardown on the Duolit timer that I replaced. Um, I guess it's a pretty common problem. There's been a lot of people who have uh, hit that site and I got a lot of comments and thank yous um, for people that have been helped by uh, the last one I posted. Um, so initially I did think that I would be able to take this apart and, um, and repair it. Um, I will get in to show you how to disassemble it. Honestly, I didn't find anything um, that was a smoking gun. Um, I've already taken this one apart, so I didn't fully reassemble it. But uh, here it is out. Here's the front. Here's the back. You'll see these clips that come around, and they hold this whole switch together. Um, I just bent these out and and pulled this apart to access the insides. Um, now this thing comes apart pretty easily um, in a bunch of different pieces and could take a little bit getting it back together. Um, first is um, you can take this shaft and you can pull it straight out. Here you'll see the guts are here. It, it actually looks like this, this plastic piece comes off as well. It actually looks really, really well made. Um, the components look of super high quality. Um, try to see if I can get it. Just, it's like a watch almost. Um, everything in my unit that was sticking um, was clean. You can see I, I didn't clean this at all. And everything is is in great shape. Um, the springs are intact. There's no uh, dirt grime in here. It's not overly oiled, so I would be careful about that. What I concluded um, is the problem is possibly this spring, um, which is like a clock spring. And I think what happens is either this spring is undersized or possibly weakens over time. And that's what uh, doesn't give it the strength to finish towards the end of the cycle. Um, so if I put it on the handle, I can kind of wind it up and there it is running. Um, I do feel a little hitch in it. So it's possible that oiling this would make a difference, but I honestly think the problem is located in this spring. Um, you can try it, I guess, um, but the consequence of it not shutting off are pretty bad that I think the right way to go is to just put a new uh, a new unit in. It's cheap enough, it's fast enough, but uh, in my case, there was nothing obvious. And because mine would always stop towards the end of the cycle, I, I think it's really... This spring is the contributor. So, hope that helps somebody. Thanks.